Hey there everybody, welcome back Sheepdog Preparedness Kenny with you again. And man, I'm running behind on putting these videos out. Life's been too busy here lately. That cold weather, this is about all you get done. It's cut and stack and haul firewood. And we've had some much nicer weather here in Missouri here lately, so we we think we're finally setting pretty good on this for the rest of the winter. That cold snap we had was so bad we burned up a lot more wood than we usually do. We got a break for about three or four days. Had another horrible cold snap, burned up the rest of the wood. And so we had to go haul more from the other parts of the farm. We've always got plenty of it laying on the ground, but we don't always have the entire amount that we need right here at the house. So been hauling more wood and uh, cutting and splitting some more that, that wasn't quite ready for the, the wood stove. That bad boy there wanted to talk a little bit briefly today about barter um i hadn't i'd briefly mentioned barter a couple times before but uh i figured to do a, a video strictly on barter and just kind of get some opinions more than anything i have mixed feelings about barter stuff just because i think you don't want to give up supplies uh so you don't necessarily want to barter with the stuff you've got stashed back you need to be thinking about other things that are extras things that you don't use that you don't want to use that you may have on hand to barter with people that you trust and it the trust thing is huge because you can't let everybody know what you've got uh, people that that you don't know that is so what are some things that you plan on bartering with? What are some items that you've stashed back for barter? Uh, you know, one of the first things that everybody starts to think about is, you know, 22 ammunition, things like that. Uh, keep I keep plenty of 22 ammo on hand. And it's ammo, a lot of people will tell you, don't ever barter with ammo because uh, that, that person you're bartering with and you give that ammo to can turn around and use it on you. Well, you don't necessarily give them a you know a ton of ammo and you don't necessarily give them defensive ammo um, just 22 stuff is all i ever plan on bartering with i'm not going to give up any of the other stuff 22 long rifle is stuff that people can use to take small game and you know yeah can he kill you with it yeah they can kill you with it but uh they're not going to have the the distance or stopping power is what they'd have with something else so i don't think there's anything wrong with using 22 ammo to barter another big thing everybody always thinks about good old-fashioned silver and gold whether it's coins or whether it's i, I try to keep some silver bars of, of various sizes you know for various values some of those silver bars are you know worth five bucks some of them ten bucks some of them twenty bucks depending on the size so when the good old dollar finally collapses which it will and it's not worth the paper it's printed on then uh, precious metals will be where it's at so uh, haven't gotten into any gold yet you know let's face it it's expensive and uh, you're gonna have to it's much easier to stock back silver than it is gold just because you, know, you can get it smaller denominations. A, a coin this size right now market value is about twenty twenty one dollars and this is a Canadian coin here Canadian uh, five dollar piece but the, this you know being that it's pure silver the weight of this right now is, is about twenty twenty one bucks and it goes up and down of course like anything else but it's physical. You can hold it in your hand. That Bitcoin crap and all that other stuff like that. Pfft. I don't want it. Don't care about it. It's you've already, you see what it did already. Uh, <laughs> it jumped way up and it went right back down considerably. And it's gonna keep on going down and it ain't gonna be worth diddly squat when SHTF happens. Cause you know why? You can't hold it in your hand. It exists on a freaking computer. It's if you ain't got it, folks, then it doesn't exist. Same thing with your bank account right now. If you're keeping all your money in a 401k and you're keeping all your money in the bank, when it hits, guess how much money you got? Jack squat. Uh, so keep your... 
I'm not telling you go out and spend every dime you got right now on food, water, and ammo, but I think there's a whole lot worse things to spend your money on, that's for sure. At least if, when it hits, you got stuff that you can use, you got stuff that's got value, you got stuff that's going to save your butt and your family's behinds. Um, I think more uh, barter items that would be great would be things like spices, sugar, and salt. Um, medical things, feminine hygiene products. Load up on, you know, maxi pads and tampons. Those things are going to be highly sought after. I think maybe little small bottles of liquor. I'm going to start stocking up on some of those, like your little airline size bottles or whatever, and maybe even half pints of liquor of various types. I don't drink the stuff, but hey, somebody's going to want it, and they may have something that I want that I can swap it for. Um, I had something else on the tip of my tongue, and it already escaped. Oh, I, I along the lines of the liquor, it made me think of uh, tobacco products. Man, stash back some cigarettes, maybe buy you a 10, 10 roll can of some some dip, uh, some, you know, Skull, Copenhagen, whatever. Somebody's going to want that. Uh, stuff like that I think would be great to have on hand. Um, just to be able to swap and trade for other things that you might need. Uh, you know, just to show goodwill, to start to build relationships. But like I said in the other video about groups, I think your time for building those relationships has long past. If you don't have your group started now, I think you're just about out of time. You're going to have to have these groups put together. And you're going to have to have agreements made on where you're going to meet when X happens and where you're going to meet when Y happens and who's going to cover what. So... Uh, if you're going to barter, don't barter where you are located. Don't barter at your bug out location. You go elsewhere to do that stuff. You go where it's safe. You keep small barter items with you when you are out on excursions. When you've got to go elsewhere and get something. You don't want to bring these people to where you are, ever. So, uh, if they find you, you know, that's one thing. But, uh... That's where your group comes in handy. You want to know when somebody's coming. So if you've got good security, you know somebody's coming, your people on your outer perimeter that are watching things can potentially have little small bar barter items on them, maybe, to, you know, if, if need be. But uh, opinions on barter. You know, what do you think? Are you planning on stashing some barter things back? Are you planning on doing any bartering with people? Or do you think, nope, you're just inviting trouble by supplying somebody with something and they're going to think oh i got that from him what else can i get from him and i i don't disagree with that line of thinking i think i think you definitely need to think it through um i i am stashing some barter items back whether or not they will get used or whether or not it will come together that way i don't know uh you know it's just like any other preparedness stuff that i stock it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. So uh, you use your own judgment on what you're going to do on that stuff. But please comment below. Let me know what you are stashing back for barter if you're doing any barter items. And uh, would love to hear your ideas. That's what this is all about. I do not know it all by any stretch of the imagination. And I'm here to learn stuff just like you are. Uh, I try to pass on what I've picked up on for the last 20 some years being involved in the field that I'm in. And, you know, the last. 15 years or more being involved in the preparedness stuff uh, professionally so uh, let me know what you think got more videos coming up soon on uh, some bushcraft stuff we're going to get out and start doing some more hiking and camping and we uh, got Tom and some of the other guys that will be joining me we're going to be doing some good videos with all that more gear reviews coming up I uh, bought a cool little uh, radio in the past few days, an SDR, Software Defined Radio. I'm going to do a, a review of that. And I'm uh, going to do some antenna installs pretty soon, so we'll talk about antennas and communication stuff a little bit more for those of you that would like to learn more about that. And I still I promised uh, Jimmy Rance I was going to do a video on the, on the wood stove setup and how that's all put together. I'm still going to do that, so haven't forgot about you, brother. All righty, everybody take care. Lots going on in the world. Volcanoes going off like crazy. Earthquakes all over the place. Where have we heard these things before? It's right there in your Bible, folks. 
you know where we're living in. You know we're in the final days. Are you ready?